All right. I'm trying to eat Macca's, mate. Mate, you can eat Macca's later, you dick. <laughs> Welcome to the Two Homo Show with myself, Tom, and Cam over there. Tom is the number one homo, and I'm number two, as you guys can probably tell. No, I believe you're like the ultimate king homo, but that's okay. Moving on from that, Cameron, what's new? What's what's exciting? What what do you have? Show us something. I have a lot of things, mate. Some things I can't talk about on the internet. No, so I've got a couple of new new devices, new toys since uh, the last show. I did pick up the um the iJoy Zenith. Oh, Zenith. I still haven't seen that. Dude, dude, it's it's an interesting little mod, and, and it's the best part, Tom. You ready for it? Yeah, I mean, they can't see it because it's green. <laughs> so. oh, damn it. So, yeah, it, it's got green lights in it right now, um, which is pretty damn cool. I do, I do quite enjoy that. Just seems a bit pointless, but yeah, sure. I mean, it shows you when it's firing. Um, it also does have the old potentiometer on the front with a lightning bolt on it. Because it makes more sense, eh? Yeah. It actually makes it a lot easier to... Yeah, I can imagine so. What does it go up to in terms of voltage? According to this, 6.2? I thought you said it was like 11 point something. Yeah, well, from what I've read on the... One second, let me pull it up just so I can confirm. The iJoy Maxo Zenith on the iJoy website. That was up to... Um, let me, let me just go. So 300 watts, blah, blah, blah. Where are we? Boop, 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 boop. So working voltage is 9.3 volts to 12.6. Output voltage is 2.7 to 6.2 with a maximum output current of 50 amps. So it outputs to 6.2 volts. Yeah, so it's pretty much less than the... Tesla? The Tesla was 6.6. That's, that's why I think the Tesla 2 bar 3 exists. That's that's very true. Um, the only other gripe I have with this is the button. Why? There's a little bit of delay in the firing, but um, the button is... Oh, oh, I just leaked juice everywhere. <laughs> oh, that was... That's what problems. Gold. Okay, so this whole top piece right here mm -hmm. is the button. Yeah. What's wrong with that? With mods like this, I'm used to it, you know. Yeah. So, like, I mean, obviously I have quite small nimble and, you know, oops, it's interesting. No, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. What else is new, apart from the Zenith? Oh, yeah. The, um, Crichton from Cyclone. Mods. Cyclone mods? Cyclone. Comes, comes in a little uh, Pringles can, eh? Yeah, dude, it's it's like a clear Pringles can. I was like, oosh, Pringles, but it, it wasn't. Pringles. <laughs> um, oosh, disappointment. So it, it does come with a skunk pen, which is great. Um, I have been using it on the skunk today, but I've put it on the Limitless Arms Race for now because it's only a 0.26. So it's quite a high build for a Single eighteen sixty. Yeah, so it's not very rowdy, eh? <laughs> like when it's when it's on the squonker, it's not very rowdy, eh? No, not at all. Um, yeah, and now I've got low man. batteries. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Better the start of the show, man. You know, low batteries. Have you got anything new, Tom? Anything? Um, not anything out of the ordinary. You guys have seen the thermos before. This is what I'm vaping on tonight. The uh, Endo and the Elite 2. Uh, I'm also vaping on... Uh, oh, move the camera. Oh, eh. uh, The Titanium with the Aria Sleeper, which is like my go-to most of the time. Um, hey, Sleeper. Woo! I need a different battery in here because it's weak as piss, but it's a single coil, uh, triple, triple core, fu uh, triple core fuse clapton. I've got a charged battery, so I'm just going to swap it over. Um, get, a new, uh, get a new mod though? 
Oh, I did. I did indeed. This one makes Cameron a bit jealous. So there's the black first edition scoundrel. Aluminum with a brass button. I don't know why the brass button's not coming out. There it is. Um, with a recoil on top tonight. Um, very nice combo. Hits like a freight train, mate. So jealous, dude. Just hits hard. Like, it's it's a noticeable difference going from, like, the comp lifes or the ables going to that. Like, that is a world of a difference. Um, yeah. And the way that the League of Scoundrels puts it is that you have more conductivity with it than you would with, like, any copper, AV, or comp life mod because of the mass of the metal. You've just got so much conductivity to that to that 510. Yeah. The thermal mass on it is quite ridiculous. The walls of the actual yeah. tube are very... Like they're, they're seven mils thick, I think, the entire yeah. way around. Apart from where it, like, divots down, but... Comes in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is my second scoundrel, so... <sighs> yep. <laughs> You're not number schedule I'm on, Tom? Zero. Exactly. Everybody hurts. So, um, hopefully. Ten, that's come. that's about all I'm using tonight. I've got the uh, black food bar HK with the stainless steel butter cap, and I do have my Hustler, which is, you know, here and being used now with some uh, Sub-Zero and the Dot Mod uh, 24mm RTA. Still my favorite RTA to date. There's so much flavor, and just so easy to use. I feel weird. I'm not using like a mod father or a. Or I know. As a plus tonight. Weird. You're like you're not using any RTA. You're normally the like RTA king. Dude, I I kind of like have kind of gone back to basics, as I kind of just sit there having a snack. Um. Yeah. <laughs> just enjoying RDAs for their flavor at the moment, and same dense vapor um, like i i used to take tanks to work like that was my thing i was taking my um my tfv8 big baby beast and stuff like that to work but now i find myself taking rdas like a, a, a lot more uh and i'll take max mech mods more than anything else uh but i'll shove them in my my lovely mod sock in my pocket so it doesn't fire yeah and doesn't come into contact with anything that's going to short it, so that's that's definitely what I'm doing. What what juice are you vaping on tonight, Tom? Anything? Bon Bon. And okay. Sub Zero. Oh. Some Eddies. Eddies that's, yogurt. That's some well steeped Eddies. Yeah, from August August ninth, I believe I made this batch. Well, it was when you came to Vape Day, wasn't it? It was just before Vape Day, because I did yeah, it like... that's right. On, I think it was Project Fog. Um, I think so as well. When I was with Fresh and stuff. Yeah. So that's well steeped, and the flavor on it is... Mm, that Greek yogurt's kind of mellowed out a little bit more. Because mm, that's... that's I could I could really taste the kiwi fruit more than anything in yeah. it, in that. Um, has it changed you can, or you can still get the kiwi definitely most definitely it's still there um, the strawberries has kind of picked up a little bit and then the yogurt's kind of still See, like you've still got that Greek yogurt acidy flavor that's strange because in in theory the strawberry should drop down like a lot of juices that I've made in the past where I've used strawberry yeah. strawberry is like the most prominent so strongest concentrate and then it kind of mellows out yeah I mean I don't know if that's the kiwi fruit has dropped down and the strawberries kind of come up. Could be. So, or it could be the, the yogurt the dropping down. There. The kiwi <laughs> is definitely still there. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's a real good drop. And then also, I'm on Waffle On from Vaporium. Nice. Which is another great little number. You've, you've got all the new um, Vaporium ones, eh? Somewhere, yes. I say yeah. somewhere because they're either in the steeping thing over there or they're in my vape bag or they're in my tech bag okay. or you don't want to go over the the three new flavors or however many it was 
it's it's four new flavors. Um, I'll see if I can find. Well, you try and find those, and I can figure out something to talk about while you do so. <laughs> um, if you haven't caught it, Cameron did go live just prior to us doing this, uh, and he did announce the Vaporium winner uh, for the giveaway. Uh, it was basically a coil builders but coil builders beginner kit. Uh, included a pair of flash cut uh, cutters, some cotton. Uh, a Doge V3. Uh, what else? Uh, ooh, okay. So tweezers, ceramic tweezers. Ceramic tweezers. Uh, set of cutters. Yeah, we through that. Since obviously I just went live. Um, a pack of, I'm guessing it's Muji or organic cotton. Yep. Um, 22 gauge, 30 foot cancel. Oh, some wire as well. And, <laughs> and obviously the Doge which I still haven't opened, which I really want to open. You don't even understand, man. Yeah. So with with that um, with that wire being 22 gauge canthol, probably recommend a 5 to 6 wrap on a 3 mil bit if you are the winner. Um, just chuck that and see what it should be. It should be about a 0.2, to be honest, or a 0.15 at Eight. least. Yeah. Somewhere yeah, it's going to be fairly high. So yeah, just, well, depending on what you're using it on as well, obviously. Yeah, um, of course. If you do have questions and you are the winner, definitely feel free to ask either myself or Tom and hopefully hopefully we can help you. In a way, shape or form. Oh. So because Tom did tell me to find the flavors, I, I found them. I, I definitely found them, Tom. Um, so I've got the four new e-liquids from nice. the e-liquid buyers club or vaporium mm. uh, whichever one you want to call them uh so they've got anzac good egg waffle lawn and eve's apple i believe you might have tried eve's apple at vape day of tomorrow possibly or was that the apple pie i can't remember which I, one i had it. apple pie um i don't think i had eve's apple but they've kept um, they've kept Anzac on, eh? Uh, yeah, so they're still currently all there for sale right now on the Vaporium website. Um, I'm really digging these juices, man. Um, so hey. it me a 60 mil? 50? 60 mil, definitely. 60? Uh, a 60 mil of... Yeah, it is 60 mil, sorry. So yeah, 1030, 60 or 120 from Vaporium. Um, so 60 mil of Waffle On. Nice. To try out. And then a couple of days later, before 10 mils turned up of the new flavors. So which which one out of the four stands out the most to you? Let's start off with the most standout one and work our way. Most standout one. See, it, it it's, it's kind of weird because one of the flavors is obviously good egg, right? Yeah. You'd think of like a Cadbury cream egg or something of the same well, sort of egg, yeah, in a way. An egg with uh, caramel or, you know, whatever in it. Yeah. To me, it tastes like Bailey's, right? <laughs> Bailey's nice. Irish cream, like a very, <laughs> very traditional Sick. Bailey's kind of, even the smell, it just reminds me exactly like when you're pouring Bailey's into like a cake or something. Yeah. And this is, like, I'm a big fan of Baileys. Baileys and ice cream is something I could do every night if I had Baileys. You had to. The flavor on it. Oh, I'm just going to taint my coil. The smell and the taste, like, when you um, knock it, Mm. It's completely different to the vape. Like with the vape, you get a bit more of the chocolate, yeah. but it's still got that Bailey's kind of flavor to it. And I'm, I'm really loving this dude. It's, it's something I would actually go out and buy a 120 mil bottle of. Nice. Um, I mean, obviously it's not to everyone's, um, you know, palate. The only thing is this is a limited edition. The, the good egg. It's only no out for made, a month. Yeah. Um, I believe it's still on the website, so I'm assuming right. they've still got some. I think I think they're like running out, and they said yeah, that it's, there was it's a, the same with like there was theory. Yeah, well, there was a fifty percent sale the other day. Yeah, so if you guys want it, get some. 
It, it is so good. They're keeping Anzac on though, which was meant to be yep. limited time only. I'm I'm happy about that as well. Same with Wafflon. That's that's another one that I am really, really digging. So what what would Wafflon be most, you know, like similar to, to me? In real like life? The, even the smell of it, caramel with cakey waffle, like a mm. definite cakey <laughs> waffle. But with with that caramel, you kind of get like almost a buttery kind of butterscotch flavor. Yeah. So it's it's not just you know a standard caramel. I'm guessing they've got a butter flavoring in there as well. Yeah. And as as you can kind of tell by the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. It's very exactly. Yellow. Well, I mean, I've been vaping it, but yeah, <laughs> I've been like this is something that I've been taking with me to work just to when, when I feel like something sweet and sugary. This is it. It is definitely a dessert, <coughs> as with pretty much. The whole well three of the new mm. range kind of remind me of a dessert um this one is is delicious nice and that's that's the thing i can't really pick one to be my standout you know favorite one out of all four here enough so they're all kind of equal in your eyes well Just those two are the ones that i absolutely without sounding like cheesy adore these these are the two that i really really yeah. do like mm. um anzac i mean i love the biscuits they're they're great mm. the, the flavor on this is really good as well mm. even the smell you kind of get that almost um it might sound weird but the the rolled oats texture kind of comes through in the smell yeah it, it sounds weird dude but it, i don't know it makes sense to me mm but the vape on it is something different it really is um it is definitely that kind of oatsy coconutty anzac biscuit that you'd get like if you went to your grandma's house or i don't know in your case your wife's family's <laughs> house for anzac biscuits because you're obviously french um, yeah okay <laughs> You know who knows totally. um but definitely buttery od and you get that nice coconut i hate coconut as a vape flavor yeah but this is done right it's real subtle there's there's a little bit of it and then it also kind of has that caramelly ish kind of thing that you'd get with obviously golden syrup in a anzac biscuit yeah see i'm weird i hate coconut unless it's in a bounty bar in which case i would demolish same it. that's the only way i'll bars. eat it is in yeah. a bounty bar yeah but like i hate lamingtons i cannot stand lamingtons. oh, oh mate lamingtons without the coconut on the outside perfect oh uh, yeah for sure lamingtons lamingtons with coconut. coconut yeah but lamingtons with coconut no deal Mm, that Anzac is really good. Sick. So next one, last one, is the uh, caramel apple, or also known as Eve's apple. Yo. So this is actually I have not tried this. I've smelt it and knocked it, mm. but like you get a real green apple, and then the smell on it is very caramelly and almost maple syrupy. Mm. so i feel like you know they've used the same maple syrup as probably both the anzac as well as um the waffle on so it, it's it smells great but and it's a green apple or is it a red apple yeah it, it definitely smells like you know the the fresh green apple kind of smell that's strange i would have Which... imagined it to be a red apple because of you know obviously it being a candied apple is what i'm guessing they're going for well i mean granny smith's are kind of the candied apple normally i don't yeah. know where you've been tom but here green apples are normally used for nah. candy. no no way normally you have a red apple for for a candied apple are you getting like a crisp crisp apple with maple syrup Although that concerned look on your face is like, mm, okay. See, the smell of it smells like a green apple. 
Yeah. But the vape doesn't have that distinct green apple. Like, you know, when you get like a, a standard green apple, mm. one one concentrate flavor. Like, well, yeah, not necessarily one concentrate, but like, like we've done in the past with uh, crisp apple from yeah. 2020 vapes, for example. You know, that's that's yeah. definitely a green apple. That's like no two ways about it. It it kind of almost tastes like there's two different apples. Like there is a subtle green apple, but it's not fully just a green apple. Yeah. Almost like, I guess a brain burn would be the closest apple you can think of. Um, Getting all fancy up in here. That's exactly sorry. this kind of apple. It's, it's like a brain burn. <laughs> <laughs> the, the chef life just takes over. Um, this is actually, actually not bad. I wouldn't say it's something I would go out and buy constantly, like in 120 mm. mil bottles, but occasionally it's, I like apple vapes. It's not like Rush Rush Yay Eye. <laughs> Mate, I'm still trying to find a bottle of it. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same case as you now. I want a bottle of it. But you definitely do get that caramel kind of, almost toffee brittle kind of flavor. Mm. Um, it's definitely good nice so i must say like you know sponsorship aside all that sort of shit excuse the french but they, these four are actually really really good yeah like they do compete with these melons which obviously you know is oh mate my, oh, don't don't even i've still got um, a 60 mil that i don't touch because i don't want to go through it do, do you see that yeah that's that's it i know them feels Mine's still full, but you know, I know them fits. But then, then again. Have scary. Yeah. That discontinued um, shit. Yeah, man. Still got that, that limited discontinued. You're but like out of those, the, out of those four, Tom, um, can I pick one? Come it's on, like a little big toss up. Would, At least two. Waffle on would be my number one, and yeah. the good egg would be my number two because I like the uh, Baileys. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah, they they are good flavors, and they have done really good with these new new flavors. Really, really good. Nice. And other good news, I believe they have opened their laboratory fully. Sweet. So all their juice now is made in a lab. Yeah, dude. Um, which well, is prior to which it was made in a mixing room anyway so yeah. i mean it's not it's not like it was made in a garage or something like that you know <laughs> but good stuff finally yeah yeah it's it's great mm. um good to see a lot of well a lot of other vendors are picking up the same sort of um the thing trend, as well yeah there's there's a lot of vendors bringing out clean rooms which i'm impressed with and i'm hoping you're the same yeah it's, no, it's really sure. good to see um that they're kind of stepping up stepping up to that international standard you know like i mean most of the juices we see from the usa most of are lab made you know like for example leonard young who makes deaf liquids his stuff is lab made now um he's only making five flavors now yeah. but they're all lab made so you know you've got that sort of safety i guess you want if you want to call it that of knowing that it is made in a hermetically safe place yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I'm just gonna pop on over to the Facebook page and see. No, no one's commented on the post. Right. That's all right. So I was hoping to have some questions from you guys tonight, but that, that's fine. <coughs> we will. You know what we haven't looked at, and I've had it for a while now. What time? The endo or the elite? The endo, and the elite, but the endo mainly. I'm listening. Yeah. So we, we haven't really gone into detail, have we? Or did we? We did, didn't we? We went into an episode because we were talking about how the clover is meant to blow yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. Okay, so we have covered that. I don't think we've talked about the Elite. I mean, it is, I guess, a high-end device, cost-wise. Yeah. Well, I mean, but... the Elite is cheaper than the Apocalypse. You know, so you, you're talking about a bigger RDA for less than the Apocalypse. It is because it's full stainless steel, including the deck. Um, the Apocalypse has a gold-plated deck. There's a new Elite V2, which is a fully gold-plated deck one. Um, and that is more expensive. But it comes in at 89 doors, which is actually fairly decent. 
it's kind of similarly priced to the recoil but yep, yep. you're getting you know that much more real estate in terms of um, and build a space very um, nice mind the nasty well not nasty but just slightly less appealing cotton in there um, but you get so much room for activities and it just oh mate it's just a dream so much room for activities yeah <laughs> So much room for activity. Uh, I haven't watched that um, movie in ages. Yeah, same here. But you know, it's it's a good, good RDA. I personally like rocking it with one square open, the biggest square, um, yeah. and that's it. Oh, fully open. It's way too airy. Um, had a mate over last night, and he tried it out. He loved it, mate. Like he's he's still on a um, a smock stick, uh, stick one, whatever it's called, the yeah, basic. Yeah. Yeah, the one, uh, it's one of them that I gave him. Um, and he had this and he was like, kept asking me to use it, which is great. You know, like it's, it's great. But when it's fully open, there's way, way too much airflow. Like way too much. It's just like no restriction, zero restriction. Unless you put massive, massive coils, like some 4.5 inner diameter and probably like 20 wraps. That's yeah. when fully open would be enjoyable. But aside from that, I've been using it with one square off, and that's it. And that's that's been great, to be honest. Can't have I like, I don't have any issue, issues with it. I like the post design as well. I believe it's the same yeah. posts that are in the Crichton. Um, no, are they not? No, no, the Crichton is like. So you've got two two holes on either side and oh like it's a it's a u-shaped clamp eh? and it's one side's longer than yeah, the other yeah 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 i have oh, seen I can't it. Even... yeah 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 i have seen it doing, so it's yeah. it's a little bit of the same style but you know just changed a little bit so that you have the whole like recoil style up and down preset thing which is so what i it's... love most about the recoil it's not like the apocalypse where it's got like the m clamp kind of yeah, so that's what the um, the Elite has. It's the M Turk style clamps. You know, it's yep. just basically just straight piece, clamp it down. Um, stock standard, they come with the clamps the wrong way up. So there's like these pieces that are like this uh, on the top side, like so that when you shove a piece of wire in, it like lifts by itself instead of having to hold the clamp up, put your wire and drop the clamp. So my best word of advice is to unscrew fully flip the the contact around and screw it back down because that's how they're actually meant to come but for some reason from the factory they come the wrong way up um I and you'll find it me. yeah you'll find it 10 times easier to build in like it does make a massive massive difference i still need to get a two post battle deck so bad i'm getting sick of this three post like no one's business mate that's why it's I just, went to post. But it's so unfriendly to build in. Like, I mean, granted, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to build in it. It's just that your coils are always offset. No matter how much you try, it's going to be offset. You know, yep. like it just... <sighs> but then you compensate with how you put the airflow cap on. Yeah, of course. But I mean, you know, if it was centered, your logos would line up with a lot more things and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, like... CD. Yeah, like, I mean, on this, for example, you know, the recoil logo lines up, but if I was to put that comp life cap on there, the comp life cap's, like, over here, because the the airflow holes have to go to the coils that are yeah. slightly offset. And and if you think about it as well, instead of getting direct airflow onto the coil, say this is the coil, and getting airflow directly onto it, you're actually getting airflow like this. Next, so you're getting yeah, a I'm lot of on. airflow on here and less airflow on here. So... Yeah. You know, it's not the best either. But never mind. Life happens. <laughs> life happens. Fake life. First word problems. Pretty much. Ooh. Ow. Did it spit at you? The the um the cat gets really warm on the Crichton, that is one thing I have noticed. Really? Yeah, because your your builds are real close. Yeah, to the... but it's not it's not as bad as the Goon LP, is it? No, no, no. One really. thing I've noticed with the Goon LP is how much the cap heats up. 
Like the well, Goon LP. Well, actually, no. Yeah, it's about the same as the LP. It's, the it's LP is warm. like fire, man. Like you, you, your lips even just touch the top, and you like burn your lip. It's crazy. All right. What else do I have? Surely I've got something. I don't know. I've, I've kind of been holding off on buying vape gear same, until I get I back am... from Australia. I haven't bought anything, mate. Like, I'm I'm still rocking the same gear I was when I moved up north. Except for the scoundrel. And that's it. And the elite, which Tim brought up with him. You've, no, just, got, you've just got gear coming out of your hoo-ha. Well, I've bought a new mod in RDA in the last week. You still haven't gone over your squonk on the show. I haven't, but she's in pieces right now. She she definitely is. Even better, <clears throat> even better showcase. I mean, yeah. Uh, I have talked about her. She is quite a high end mod as well. She price price What's wise. What's her name? She o- octopus. Is it Jacinda? So or octopus a. One second. Where 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 did I put the box? Um, actually, I did say that we were going to go over it, so I might as well go over it. Yeah, exactly. Um, let me, let me take off the ultimate door, grab the, so I believe this is one of their LE mods as well, so <coughs> if you can find one. So cool. the, the body itself is 3D printed or is the body, um, cast and then the it feels doors. 3D printed. Does it? Can you see any printing lines? I mean... A yeah. little bit. Yeah, but that's 3D that's, printed. Ooh, that's 3D printed. You can printed. see, like, the, the plate where it's been sitting on the actual plate. I must admit, like, having that nice little tacky feel is, is nice, especially when you're holding it. Tom's face right now, pure disgust. Well, I mean, like, nah, I'm not disgusted. I'm just disgusted by the, I know how much that cost. And, like, it shouldn't be so rough for such a price tag. Valid. Very, very that's valid. that's where like um Richard's sixty seven mods, which now Tim has, is a gorgeous piece of work. Like it does not have any three D printing on it. Uh it is a Lumilite cast. Um and it is gorgeous. Like it's it's textured as well, so it's really yeah. grippy. Uh it's a bit bigger on the skonk size, like it is it is quite big. Um comparative to let's say uh, your one or the Franken skulls, which is the same design yep. as your one anyway. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, pretty much. They. Yeah. I mean, you would expect it to be a bit higher quality, like you know, sanding well, it back I mean, a bit. But yeah, sand I mean, back, it's, clean it's, it up. it's 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 beautiful. I, I really do enjoy this mod. Still a nice looking mod. So that's that's with the original door on it, without the autumn door. So just a little bit of background. These are hand, they say handmade in Belgium, 3D printed. It's probably a dude with a 3D printing pen going like. Yeah. <laughs> um, so <laughs> it's made by Octopus Mods. Um, they call them the L Octopus. Mm-hmm. L Octopus. Um, Octopus. Where is it made? Belgium. <clears throat> Belgium, yeah. Yeah, so they're French. So. Well, French speaking. Self-adjusting spring loaded 510 center pin is what they say. Does come with the squonk bottle and the little squonky hose. So that's that's that little sucker. How right soft there. is that bottle? If I squeeze it right now, juice is going to go pouring. Put your finger on the top and squeeze it. Like it's quite rigid, eh? No, no, it's it's no? Ex- it's it's a semi soft. Um, one second. Let's, that's what she said. Let's get a piece of tissue paper, fuck it. Oh yeah, okay, so it's uh it doesn't go back, rebound back quite enough. That but... was cause I had that Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Blocking it. I mean... But Uh and there goes juice everywhere. Ah, oh, Cameron sucks. Oh, and that's good juice too. Oh no. That disappointment face, bro. Uh so that it is quite a soft bottle, I must admit. Um, <coughs> price tag on them is quite quite a bit. Um, what are they priced I mean, at? Um, 
321.45 NZ dollars. Excluding Ouch. shipping. That's that's without and, shipping. And that's where, like, for example, the 67 mods, they are only 160 NZ? Yeah. Something I like mean, that? it's 219 Canadian. Ow. Right. You'd be better off buying it in uh, Canadian dollars. Oh, wait, no. Let me change that to USD, because that's giving me the wrong number. It's cheaper than that. It has to be. Like surely it is. Uh there we go. Two hundred and thirty-four USD. So it's it's not as bad. How much did you say in Canadian? Two nineteen? Seventeen? Two nineteen ninety nine. So you'd be better off buying it in Canadian dollars. Cause they're weaker than the US dollar. Yeah. 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 So save yourself some dollars, bloody convert your cash into Canadian and then buy it so with Canadian dollars. So that comes to 234 Cana uh, New Zealand if you buy it from... That's way cheaper! Canada. Mate, that's way cheaper. I, I didn't pay that price, though, just throwing it out there. Yeah, but I'm, I'm meaning, like, you know, that is way cheaper. Do it that way. Yeah. I, I reckon do it that way if you're going to get one. See, you can um, see that. I don't mind that. Yeah, neither. neither. That's, that's not too bad. So I believe I don't know if it's got it on their website. Okay, yes it does. So the the switch contact and the battery contacts are made from nine grams of pure <laughs> silver as well. So it's solid silver it's... the whole way. So that is it good? No, it's not gonna pick it up. That there bar. we go. That bar and then the top piece that connects to the button and then that whole side black piece yeah. is silver. Silver. Nice. So you so, get conductivity through it. You you probably get it minimal voltage drop. It hits really well, um, especially with quite a warm build on there. Mm. Point one two sort of build works real nice. See, my only concern with three D printed boxes is the material they use to make it because of heat. Um, mm -hmm. I have first handedly experienced a warping uh, squonk box because of heat yep. from an RDA. Um, so that, that would be my only concern, but you've been rocking it for ages and it's been sweet. So yeah. They and I mean, good. the, the other thing is the buttons are made out of Darren. So it does, well, this, this exact mod comes with, you've got the black door, mm. you've got the, I believe it is Ultim, uh, Ultim door. It definitely is. Yeah. That color and is then one of a kind. I'm guessing that's an Ultim button yeah. as well. So it does come with the Ultim stuff as well, which is also quite heat resistant within reason. Um, I, I really do dig this mod, uh, especially for the size of it. I mean, you can barely fit an 18650 in it. Yeah, it's, it's very small. It's it's the size of a Frankenskull. Like for example, I mean, just point of reference. Here you go. You know, point yeah. of reference, that's a Frankenskull clone or uh, with a messed up door that I messed up on purpose. But very, it's, very it's, small. Yeah, it's very tiny. Like it's like it tubes is, are bigger than it. It's it's crazy. Um But it is nice and pursy if you want to rock a mech around. Uh, I took this with me today. And it's a great little thing to just carry around. The mm. only thing is getting batteries in and out is quite quite a task, as Tom has seen me do many a time. Is, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too like keen on that, eh? It does. Um, I've got a couple of batteries that need rewrapping because it has kind of nicked them a little bit. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little um, bit, Cam. Yeah. yeah Show us your battery. Bit. Come on, come on, a little bit. It's. Uh, wonder if we can grab. Nah, it's probably not going to show up because of the green screen, but. This. It's actually yeah, like it's not, not up very well. Broken it though. That's that's the thing. Yeah, it hasn't it, ripped it, but. God, if you could see what I'm saying, Jesus! It, it is, it is, like some pulled and next, pushed. Yeah, but there is no. Item. But the other, like, there's no nicks around the side or anything. Obviously, I am going to rewrap these, so they are sitting off to the side. You sure? Yes, you yes, they will be rewrapped. Sure? <laughs> um, because by the looks of it, I will be selling the old Octo very, very soon. Ah, oh, but you just got it had it for a while um i mean it's too too high price for me to just carry around town but do you find that squonking is definitely your thing 
Oh yes, yeah, I love yeah. squonking, dude. I mean, so that's this is the little, I guess you could call verification, authentic thingy, my jig. Authentication, yeah. Just gonna gonna cover the QR code so you guys can't register my mod. It's not gonna focus, but yeah, certificate yeah, I mean, of authentication. Yeah. Um, and then they do give you the old little. It's probably not gonna pick that up because it is green. Yep, it's green. So it's it's a photo of a uh, octo in in the greenness. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> you know, in in nature. In um, the greenness. So the all plants. it says on the back is enjoy your purchase and thanks for buying this original mod. And then we recommend Samsung 25 hours. That is that is because of the height. They are a bit ah, they're a bit shorter. They are a bit yeah. Yeah. So they're six four, sixty four mils, just over sixty four mils. See, that's weird because eighteen point three. The scoundrel, um, the the scoundrel information card also recommends twenty five hours, as well as LG batteries, and it's like, okay. Do I want to fire a point one something on a twenty amp? Hour? Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. Well, I mean, twenty five bars do have the higher voltage, like not voltage, um, amp. You know, CDR kind of. Yes, but thing. they do get hotter quicker. That is true. Because they're actually made for lower lower amperage. So I might actually have to pick up some twenty five hours before I do flick this mod off, just to just to see if that actually fixes it because hmm. <clears throat> those are hb two sixes hb sixes i think what that you're using yeah the green ones i'm using the 30 Q's or yeah the salmons the hb two c's or whatever they are yeah so i mean for packaging i do have to give these guys a massive kudos as oh, well recycle day Recycle, yeah, it is. Material. It is very, very. Oh, ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was Breaks very it close. on the show live, like my bloody so, flash cutters. There, we can see that. No issue. It's very, you know, rusticy and kind of that like organicy kind of look. Organicy. It's 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 really nice what they've done with the packaging. I am super impressed, and obviously it does have like tentacles and stuff on it as you can see nice it's a very cool box and dude as their logo is so simplistic i mean you know it's not this but no i mean like look at that for a logo is it gonna no it's yeah it's gonna... focusing there we go oh but there now you can see how bad the 3d printed door looks mm. um so i figured out what the, the the this whole thing is it's actually a distressed door what do you mean That's it's what distressed they call, door? They call it a distressed door. What, just because they printed it differently? <laughs> I don't know, I don't work for uh, Octopus Mods. Uh-huh. But, yeah, it is a great little wee squonker. <clears throat> it is 7.6 centimeters <laughs> by 4.5 centimeters nice. by 2.5 three centimeters see my squonk's the same size like exactly same tiny dimensions. man yeah Crazy very very small man. i mean my one my the one like my actual one this is not my actual one but it, it is the same size as this so i mean Quite like, busy, that's, yeah. yeah you you put a goon lp on there and you're only talking about you know just just hands worth yeah very very small but very nice i like the i like mm. the compact compact designs yeah, and the other thing that's obviously great about it is the fact that you can um, squonk, obviously. Really? You know, you don't have to carry around a bottle of, well, you, you still have to carry around a bottle of juice to fill yeah. up the squonk bottle, but you don't have to sit there and consistently, you know, unscrew well, the see, cap. The, the purpose of squonks, I see best fit purpose for squonks is driving. Driving <laughs> with an RDA, because you don't have to constantly drip, you just squonk that shit. Yeah. And you're sweet, you know, like you keep going. You don't have to yeah, stop exactly. and, you know, well, I mean, who stops and drips, but you know what I mean. A bit less risky. Use your knee and... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically. It's it's just a lot less risky in terms of yeah, driving exactly. and, and vaping with uh, with an RDA, at least. And I mean, that's why I kind of use the old uh, my jet whilst driving. But yeah. I have been using the Skonk for driving as well. 
<clears throat> on the rare occasion that I do take it out of the house, which is very, very rare. Mm. I can imagine. Uh, I mean, you know, especially it's, it's with a the lot. price tag. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of money for what it what it is. I guess you could say. And I mean, insurance isn't really going to cover. Nah, not at all. Not even slightly. <clears throat> it's definitely a neat little mod, though. Yeah, hopefully, um, when I do sell it, eventually, probably in the next 48 hours, um, <laughs> it'll go to a good hand or a good oh, person I mean, who will enjoy it. Pretty sure we know who it's going to, so. Yeah. yeah. They'll enjoy it. Most yes. likely. Mostly. Hope so. <laughs> Just sell it back to its original owner. <laughs> yeah, mate, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, for sure. Well, sweet ass, Cam, on that note. What what next? Shall we talk about anything else? Should we call it here? It's been is, is there anything? Minutes. Is there anything we really need to address? That's... <sighs> I don't have any new new stuff. I want to talk quickly about the Crown Three. I'm very tempted to get one. Same. Um, personally, don't have one right now, but I like the coil system. The fact that there's no screws, no nothing. The coil is held in by O-rings, and you literally mm. just load it in and close the bottom, Pop and it that's it so yeah. easy you know like where why wasn't this done earlier why did it have to only come now now happen yeah, yeah. i, I mean know. personally i like the color the only color i really like is the matte black um the other Same. colors are a bit too i don't know shiny especially that yeah. bloody rainbow i don't know what they're thinking with the rainbow the blue looks all right but i don't have anything that it would match i like the matte black like Definitely, mm. like I've been sitting there for the last couple of days thinking about it. The only thing I'm gutted about is that the matte black doesn't come with the red drip tip that comes on the glossy black. So you'd have to buy a glossy black and a matte black and then swap the drip tips and then sell the glossy black. Yeah, I mean, it's always a possibility. Yeah, but that's just a waste of money. Yeah, true. Like 100 bucks just to bloody get a nice red drip tip on your matte black. Or you could just buy a custom drip tip. Yeah, exactly. Just buy it custom because it uses a standard 510 anyway. So, but I mean, it's a, it's a nice combination of the Crown Two with they basically just fix the Crown Two because the Crown yeah, Two just has added the Crown One flavor. Yeah, pretty much. The Crown Two's flavor is shocking. I mean, I can speak from firsthand experience. I've got it sitting right here. I like the packaging on the Crown Two a lot more. Get a nice mm. metal tin. Like the Rafale or Raphael or whatever it was called. Rafale, came in the same yeah. sort of. And a can, which is cool. Like, that's so cool. But, you know, whatever. You can. You don't necessarily win everything when you're buying shit like that. Yeah, but, um, exactly. I mean, my Crown 2 has been mainly living in its box. I've only used it minutely because I was so. Dude, I loved my Crown 1. Like, I was, I was in love with that thing. And then I got the I Crown know. 2, and I was so disappointed. I got it on the day it came out in New Zealand as well, and I was just so let down by it. I mean, I remember trying, I think it was your Crown 1 on your Evic when I was up in... Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, and that was with an that was old good. coil. That was with an old, old coil, so, like, the flavor was still great after so long with the same coil. But the Crown 2 is just this bitter disappointment of leaking and shit flavor and <clears throat> yeah everything like with it. everything just, yeah but i like the color i'm so torn because i love this this coffee bronze color i think it See, looks so nice and it would look really to... good on the hustler who who sells the um the crown three the crown vapo Vapor have them in stock? Sweet. Yeah. I, they don't have any matte black left, though. But they're $49, dude. That's so cheap for, for what it is. Um, the Crown 1 was 49 The Crown 2 was 60 Hardware and brands. You will. You will. Just go into tanks. Advanced kits, <coughs> tanks. Oh. Wait, it's right I bloody need... there. Advanced tanks, 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 tanks. Mix. Whoa, they still have the original crown. What? Yeah, I know, right? Because it oh, sold more than the two. 
There it is. Man, I had something grape-flavored in this crown at some point. Oh. Still tastes like grape. Why do you guys have to... Oh, no, they still got met back. Yay! Oh, yeah. They just ran out of stock at the store. So they would have had stock at the main thing. You're totally going to pick one up, aren't you? No, I'm not going through checkout. Not at all. It's totally what he's doing right now. Anyway, guys, just on bought that it. Note, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might pick one up as well, just so we can look at it. And plus, I kind of want a nice remake. Yeah, one same. Thing. I want something with like, I mean, the the TFE eight big baby was great, but it did go through quite a bit of juice. N not just that. <clears throat> The coils, they were so hit and miss. That too. The pre-made coils, out of a pack of five, I had two bad ones. Like, it's so disappointing when you put in a new coil and it's burnt. Exactly. Like, you, you do exactly the same thing with the first coil than you do with the second. You juice it properly, you let it sit once the tank's full for at least ten minutes. You hit it at like 20 watts and it's burnt. It's like, what? Cool. Just just picked up the Mad Black Crown 3. Love you. It'd be really funny if that was the last one. <laughs> yeah. Uh then not have to the share. The only it thing you. is I don't I don't know what to put it on. Probably the hustler. See, I'm thinking it would look all good on that or the hustler. Probably the hustler. Because yours is black, so mm. mine's still Except well, it's a metal grey, so now let's check their website and double it's 24 check. Mil. Oh, even better. Okay, damn it. They've still got more in stock. I better buy more. You can buy me one. Yeah, not happening. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I think I think that's all we have on the show. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, man. I think we've drawn this like two topic segment rule way out. Exactly. Oh well. happens. But, yeah, we will have a nice little independent review on the Crown 3, either yeah, next yeah. week or the week after, depending Whenever on... Whenever you have time. When I get mine, and I know Tom's going to buy one probably five uh, minutes from now. Eventually. I don't... Nah, I'm... Like, I'm really... I'm in the state of using what I have. Yeah. Because I have so much gear. So much gear. And that's gear. why I'm starting to flick my gear off, because it just sits there. Like the Karma. I have not picked up the Karma in three months. I haven't picked it up since probably a week after we did the review. So yeah, three, four months. Yeah. Yes, yeah, kind of same. Like, I mean, it's a great mod. Don't get me wrong. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just I've got everything else to use as well. Yeah, like, there's just too much selection. And that's why I want to cut down kind yeah, of my gear. Yeah, for sure. I want to kind of stick to my, <clears throat> my main ones. Like, my AVs stay in stacked mode, you know, my, I never go single with my AVs anymore. Yeah, the Hustler is there, like, I'm finally using my Hustler again. And then I've got the Fubar HK, which I'm finally using again. The Titanium HK, which I'm using a shitload, and then the, the Scoundrel, which I'm using a shitload. Oosh, it even has batteries in it, that's cool. Oosh! Are Oosh. they fully charged they can go Yes, yes they are. Oh, sick! Mine aren't. Mine are like half I need dead. to put something on this. I haven't, I haven't used this in about a week. You still need to send me <clears> the profile because mine is only lasting about an hour worth of use. Uh, that means I have to plug it into the computer. But it's I because how, I messed like around. A talk yeah, but I, I messed things. around with the settings and, and I must have mucked it up somewhere because... I mean, yeah, and that's why you always save your settings, guys. That's, that's it. Not just a message for Tom, but for everyone yeah, else. make a backup of your settings. Make a backup if you do have a DNA device, just so that if you do stuff up the settings, you've got the original settings you got a ready to return. go. Yeah. But on that note, guys, I think we're going to end it here with some clouds. It has been 54 minutes of semi-contact, semi semi-just conversation between the two of us about sending me fucking profiles for my, my mod. Oh, I'm loving that juice, man. So, catch you guys next week. Hopefully, Tom's internet will be fixed. In theory, it should. We will do a damn show. 
but yeah. don't forget to check out the podcast that we did do last week and also there will be another one possibly yes. this week yes there will be there will be another one shortly um the last podcast was pretty fun it was pretty different you know doing something yeah. where we don't have to show you things and all that kind of stuff is was actually kind of fun you know and it was yeah more, it's very different in the whole video well, kind it's of a visual lot, it's a lot more topic based you know like we can actually talk about topics not just yeah interacting with chat of people taking the piss out of you <laughs> yeah, pretty, predominantly yeah <laughs> but yeah like it's it, it was very different so do check it out it's on youtube we will try and get it on soundcloud i, I i'll probably get cameron to do that because he's got more spare time than i do right now <laughs> not uh. we're both busy but yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, yeah. on that note, catch the next podcast, catch the next show. Next show, we will have something interesting. If you haven't found out who the Vaporium winner is, go check out that live video that happened just prior to this one. Hopefully, Cam named it aptly and named it Vaporium Giveaway Announcement, um, and not just yeah. episode thirty-three or thirty-two something something. Yes, <laughs> yeah, fucking thought so, Cam. Go change it. Um, <laughs> But on that note, guys, it right now. we're going to end it here and I will upload this video so you guys should see it by tomorrow at the latest. So, Ken, cool. let's go out on some clouds. Catch you guys later.